Just go. Go one. Really go one. Down. It's the final day of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. Close to 200 of college fishing's elite teams are competing on Pickwick and Wilson Lakes for over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies, as well as double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Each team's goal today is to finish this event on top of the leaderboard. Oh, yeah. oh baby! Yes! Oh my gosh! 2045 today, 3792 for the tournament. Biggest limit so far today. New leaders of the tournament, 3794. They improved on their day one way, 2209 today, 4383 for the weekend. New leaders from the University of Montebello. These two Tennessee River fisheries are kicking out big bass and quality limits during this nationally televised no entry fee double points event. Who can sack up the winning fish and best this top notch field of nearly 400 anglers? Find out next. That's our new leaders right there. Big University of Montevallo, 24-96. National champions, Wallace State, Briar and Clinton. Welcome into this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Today we will bring you final day coverage of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. 200 of college fishing's top teams will be taken to Wilson and Pickwick Lakes to bring back the biggest five bass limit they can catch. We're, we're super excited to get out there on the lake today. We, uh, we've got one little area that we're keyed in on. We didn't lean on them too hard the other day, so we're probably just gonna go in there all day and uh, just grind it out and see what we can come up with for our best five. Sitting in first right now with 21.75. Didn't really know what to expect going into it, but I mean, we're happy. We'll see if we can get five bites a day. Here is a look at the tournament standings following day one of competition. Charlie Wright and Logan Pluger from number one ranked Montevallo are in first with 21.74 pounds. Rudy Worley and Fisher Overton from top 25 ranked Blue Mountain Christian are in second, and Jackson Kelly and Braden Pritchard from Central Alabama Community College are in third with 19.71 pounds. I think, I think we can catch a good limit fairly quick. And the quicker we can, the better it's gonna be for us to get a, have time to go catch that kicker fish. I knew Pickwick's got big fish in it, so yeah. they had to be out there somewhere. I really didn't think we had the lead with uh, 21 pounds, but we do, so I guess we're gonna try to win the thing. Let's go out on the water now and begin our coverage with the tournament leaders, Logan Pluger and Charlie Wright from top-ranked Montevallo. After weighing in close to 22 pounds on day one of the event, the pair is off to a hot start here on the final day. I'll start the day off. Two and a quarter, two and a half pounder. Well, we just started fishing. Got down here for our starting area. Not too many boats around, so feeling okay about that. Weather has definitely changed. The uh, temperature has dropped a lot, but uh, I'm gonna switch around a little bit. And, uh, you fish me bass, I want a bite. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of good grass through here. We're just a little grass patch right here, but all these areas over here got a good amount of grass that we can fish, and we'll stick it out here and hope for the best. Good one. Really good one. Down. Oh, don't jump. Thank you. 
keep. Yeah. Number three. Welcome back out to Pickwick Lake in Florence, Alabama for day two coverage of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. The day one leaders from number one ranked Montevallo now have three fish in the box. Let's check in on the second place team entering the final day, Rudy Worley and Fisher Overton from top 25 ranked Blue Mountain Christian University. Well, what we've been doing, there's uh, patches of eelgrass out here and it's, it's not thick, but uh, it's just little tiny patches and we're sitting here working through them all. And they've been just, I think it's just fish coming from spawning and going to spawn. And and uh, we're just catching them going both ways. But usually you get around one of these patches, you you, you may not get bit a lot, but it's, it's usually been a good one. Going? I think so. Yeah, I do. Yeah? Yeah, do. Yeah, stay down. Please, please, please stay down. Please stay down, fish. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fishing within eyesight of the day one leaders, the Blue Mountain Christian anglers now have two fish in the box and are working their way toward a solid limit. That is your day one leaders right there. Had no idea that we were fishing in the same area. Just, we just watched them catch that one. Um, we've already lost one, caught two, and like I said, they, uh, we were out here by nine o'clock yesterday and we'd never seen them, so that means they came after, so they uh, should be biting all day. There he is. Look, there back, throw back there in that clump that's behind us. That's where he came from. Number three. With the second place team now having three fish in the box, we move to the third place team entering the final day. Jackson Kelly and Braden Pritchard from Central Alabama Community College. Yeah, they might keep. Swallowed it again. That makes fish number one for the team from here in the state of Alabama. Jackson and Braden are fishing just below the tail race near Wilson Dam. They weighed in a five bass limit for 19.71 pounds on day one and are catching more quality smallies here on day two. Oh, uh, sitting right now with two fish. One's kind of small, one's decent. Uh, we'd like to get three more, get a limit, but look at, really looking to cold those two in the box. We just gotta keep grinding and fishing and try, try, and, get, try and get at least three more bites, give us our limit. So we can go try and fish for a big one. Really? With two teams hot on their heels lurking close behind in the top three, the day one leaders from the University of Montevallo will need to make the most of their time to capitalize on what could be the winning bites. Well, we are flight three doing it. Two o'clock, about 40 minute run down here, timed on the phone, so I guess we gotta leave here by no later than 1.20 to make it back on time. So almost nine o'clock right now, so we got, oh, what is that? Three, four hours of fish left. No, that ain't that big. Keep it though? Yeah, it's keep it. It stopped jumping.
Oh, yeah. Number four. Oh, that bait's gone. That's how they're supposed to eat it. Yeah. Five bass limit. Thank you, Jesus. It's time for our second break in the show. On the other side, We'll continue to bring you on the water coverage from Pickwick Lake and day two of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. Don't go away. Yesterday we didn't have any fish in Carolina. We caught our first fish yesterday about around this time. So we already have three in the boat. So. Doing, doing us a pretty big favor. Welcome back to day two coverage of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. Today is the final day of tournament competition and the last ACA double points event of the year before the season ending national championship in just a few weeks. The third place team from Central Alabama Community College now has four quality smallmouth bass in the big. boat and are hooked up with what could be their fifth. That's big. Keep him in. There's a fish we need. That's a freaking monster. That's a big injection. That might be a five. I gotta get this fish in the boat. That's a good one. Let's go! Right in the corner of the mouth. That might be, that's a force. That's, a, that's easy over four. From the third place team, we slide on over to the pairing of Rudy and Fisher with top 25 ranked Blue Mountain Christian University as they currently have just three fish. Slightly better. God, I just had one run all over me. I think we're gonna need another 19 or, or another 19 or 20. I think, I think. we're gonna need at least, uh, I would say, probably 17 to 18 to have a chance. Gonna need another 20 to 21 to uh, not even feel comfortable, but to uh, to have a really good shot at win. Big one. Like you're for real. Keep him down. Where are you gonna be tripping? Him? Where are you gonna bring? Him? Okay. There's five. Both the second and third place teams are putting pressure on the team from number one ranked University of Montevallo. Charlie and Logan need one big bite to all but secure the major victory. Oh my God. You got her. Good. Keep her easy. Don't hold her. Don't hold her. Oh my God. I don't know how big that fish is. Where's that chatterbait at? Where's Gone. that chatterbait? Gone. Gone. 
We've reached our final break in the show. Coming up next on this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, we'll bring you final day weigh-in from the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. But before we go to break, let's take a look at some of the awesome product offerings from the folks at Evolution Fishing. So to start, we've got our Drift Series Stackle Trays. We actually have these available in three sizes, 36, 3700, and a 3500. We have seven different colors available, uh, which is really what makes us unique in these items. Um, so an angler can have, you know, a bunch of different colors and color code all of their trays for terminal tackle or crankbaits or whatever it may be. Uh, they, they can customize their bag and, and get stuff easy at a glance. Um, we also have our largemouth series of bags, which are made of a 1680 denier fabric. This is our backpack. It has a garage door opening so you can access your trays really easily um, while, while in your boat or on the bank if that's how you fish. Um, and then moving from there, we've also got our Drift Series backpack, which has just done tremendously well for us. As you can see, the trays are right here in front, easily accessible, comes with all six included in it, um, and then just lots of uh, storage pockets uh, for accessories and you know whatever else somebody may be looking to store, carry with them in a backpack. And moving on, this is our traditional largemouth. This is our 3700 size, so this bag actually holds five trays. Uh, again, 1680 construction, so it's really durable, uh, gonna last a long time. Several pockets uh, for, for all kinds of different storage as well as a, a plier sheath, so it's ready and quick access for you. Welcome back to day two coverage of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing at Pickwick and Wilson Lakes in Florence, Alabama. Being that it is located on the banks of one of the most prestigious tournament fisheries in the country, the city of Florence is one of the premier destinations for anglers of all skill levels. At the collegiate level, Florence has been the host of major ACA events for over 12 years now. Florence is also home to one of the perennial powerhouse teams in collegiate fishing, the University of North Alabama. Biggest limit so far today, new leaders of the tournament, 37.94. Tyler Finley and Lane Lassiter from nationally ranked University of North Alabama take the lead here on the final day with the two day total of 37.94 pounds. The pair use their local knowledge to jump from 13th on day one up to first at the moment. We just totally scratched what we did all of practice and what we did yesterday during the tournament. And uh, we just did something totally different and went up and caught some smallmouth around the dam and uh, just somehow managed to figure our way into a 21 pound bag today. Coming up are the day one leaders from number one ranked University of Montevallo, Charlie and Logan. 2174 on day one. They need 1621 to take the lead. We know they've got one at least six pounds because we had a camera guy with them. You're gonna have enough to take the lead, guys. I hope so, we'll see. He says he hopes so. They improved on their day one weight, 2209 today, 4383 for the weekend. New leaders from the University of Montevallo, do you want to try a big fish? He says yes, let's try that big fish and then we'll get a look at the limit. Set it in there guys, it's a good one. I believe that's the new big fish of the tournament right there, 738. Charlie Wright and Logan Pluger from number one ranked Montevallo take top honors at the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing with a two day total of 43.83 pounds. Tyler Finley and Lane Lassiter from nationally ranked University of North Alabama right here in Florence claim second and Miller Dowling and Parker O'Brien from top ranked Montevallo finish in third. <laughs> We're uh, the weigh-in's over and uh, we won the tournament, believe it or not. It's truly crazy. We're truly blessed to be able to pull this off. I mean, we coming into it, we never thought we had a chance at it, but God is good. I mean, we clutched up there with a 738 and one big fish also, so that's a bonus. But yeah, and we got so many good prizes out of that. I mean, a power pole, a jack plate. I mean, this tournament really gives out, and it, it's amazing. Oh, it's so. awesome. I love fishing these ACA tournaments. Oh, they yeah. feed you, they just take care of you, mm -hmm. and uh, they uh, understand what being a college angler is like. So uh, I'll definitely be back for more of these. With two top three finishes at Pickwick Lake this week, the University of Montevallo earned 3,480 points to grow their season total to 37,595 points. Montevallo earned the most points of any school competing in the final ACA double points event of the season. 
Auburn University leaves the event ranked second, and Adrian College is in third. That will conclude our coverage of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. We'd like to give a special thanks to Evolution Fishing and Florence Lauderdale Tourism for their support of the event this week. Also, a huge thank you to our series partners, anglers, and teams for making this another great event. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. This has been a CareCo TV production.